Good morning everybody. Hi kids. It's Miss Jo here. Welcome to Kick It Home this morning. I'm sitting here with my dog Lola, enjoying the sunshine. Hope you had a good week. Now in a few minutes we are going to find out our next Bible story. I wonder who the storyteller is going to be. Well, first of all, we can remember the story so far. Miss Laurie told us that there was a big mission God gave to us. And then I told you about the Holy Spirit who was God's helper for that mission. And then last week, Miss Sarah, who was just acting and didn't actually fall off the bike, she told us about the special armor that God gives us to carry the mission out. So we're gonna be hearing about how we can carry on that mission today. But first, we are going to sing together. So if everybody's ready, we're gonna worship God. today. I just love that song. Speaking of superheroes, who's your favorite superhero? Mine is Superman. I love his cape and how strong he is and that he can fly. Um, what, when you think about superheroes, what is a superhero anyway? What do they do? What are they like? Well, they usually wear some sort of a costume. They usually have a mask. Um, oh, and they have a superpower, like being super strong or super smart or super fast. And um, regardless of what their superpower is, they do one thing. All superheroes have one thing in common. Do you know what that is? They protect people. That's what they do. That's their job. 
So you might be saying, Miss Nicole, where are you going with this? Well, today we are going to um, look at a story of a man named Paul who talks about someone who is way more super than any superhero that we know. Do you know who Paul is? Do you remember? You know what? Why don't we watch this video together so that we can be reminded? The Miracle of Mercy, Paul. This is Saul. Saul was a Pharisee who hated the followers of Jesus so much that he would hunt them down to be brought to trial in Jerusalem. And he would even seek to murder them. Saul was uttering threats with every breath, and he was eager to kill the Lord's followers. So he went to the high priest. He asked him to write a letter to the Jews in Damascus that would allow him to arrest any Christians he found there. He wanted to bring them, both men and women, back to Jerusalem in chains. Now Saul went on his way. And as he came near Damascus, a light from heaven flashed around him, and he heard a voice that said, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Saul cried out, Who are you, Lord? And the voice said, I am Jesus. Rise and go into the city, and you will be told what to do. So Saul got up and he opened his eyes, but he couldn't see anything. So the men who were with Saul led him into the city. After three days, a man named Ananias came to Saul. He put his hands on Saul and immediately Saul could see again. And with that, Saul became a follower of Jesus. He became the very thing he had tried to hunt and he immediately began telling people that Jesus is the Son of God, and he taught them about the mercy of God that he had received. And all who heard him were amazed. He then went by a new name, Paul, as he began preaching not just to the Jewish people, but to everyone. Despite many difficulties like being imprisoned, shipwrecked, and narrowly escaping death multiple times, Paul continued to preach about Jesus. Paul said that he would do everything he could to save people and help them know God. And that's just what he did in order to reach people who would otherwise be unreached. And many came to know Jesus because of what Paul said. Paul taught many in his day through his letters but even more have come to learn more about Jesus through the letters of Paul that can be read even to this day. Okay, so now that we know who Paul is, we can move on. So Paul is writing this letter to the church in Philippi, and um, he's writing it from prison. He's writing it from jail, and um, it's this is part of what he wrote. I'm going to read it to you. It's Philippians 4, 4 through 9. Paul says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is at hand. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, Practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. So think about that, boys and girls. Paul is in jail, and he's telling us to rejoice. He's rejoicing, and he's in jail. 
Do you know what the word rejoice means? Yeah, it means to be happy and show joy, but it means to really be happy and show joy. To get up and shout and, and sing. Can you do that with me right now? Are you ready? Let's rejoice. Woohoo! That is how you rejoice. If there are any babies sleeping in the house, Miss Nicole apologizes. Okay, so Paul is telling us rejoice. Don't worry. Ask God to protect your heart and your mind, and he will. And boys and girls, that is our big idea this week. God will protect our hearts and minds. Let's say that together, okay? Follow me. God will protect our hearts and our minds. And that is why he is so much more super than a superhero. He can protect something that no other superhero can protect. He can protect our hearts and our minds. You know what else is really cool about Jesus? He's real. He doesn't wear a mask. He wants you to see him and be friends with him. And he will give you some of his superpower, his strength. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Isn't that so cool, guys? Jesus gives you some of his superpower. If you ask him for strength, he will give you his strength. Well, boys and girls, our time is almost done. But before we go, let's pray. Let's close our eyes and fold our hands. Dear God, thank you for being the God that you are, the strong and powerful God, so much more super than any superhero we know. God, thank you for protecting our hearts and our minds and for giving us your strength to get through each day. Lord, remind us not to worry, not to be afraid, but to come to you and ask you for your protection and your love. We love you, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, boys and girls, until next time, I will see you later. I'll see you kids soon. Up, up, and away.